Libra in the seventh house is creating a new way to relate balance and equilibrium and fairness and justice when it comes to your partnerships, your relationships, and of course the individuals that you have a connection with. I mean, try not to put too much of your eggs in one basket. You may basically be in a situation of basically going through some trauma in here in this area. So try not to put yourself into an um, emotional curve at this time. Try to, like, you know, retract. Use, use some balance here, feel me? You might have the right re relationship or the right individual that can relate with you where, where you guys can, like, you know, work something out. So, feel me? Just try to bring equilibrium here. <coughs> and if you have Libra in the eighth house, you're going to be creating a new way to relate deeply with an individual. When it comes to the um, romance, love affairs, and things that they have to offer to the flavor. But make sure you that you're relating behind closed doors. Where, you know, the lights is off. Where nobody got to know about what's going on with you guys. Ninth house. If you got Libra in the ninth house, this is a new way to relate with experiences. Expansion, of course, creating equilibrium and balance and fairness and justice when it comes to belief systems and morals and principles. I'll try to find balance and equilibrium. Hear somebody out. I mean, they might they might slip up and say something that you basically may like and resonate where you can basically apply to your experience and the, the way you expand and shit. Also, if you have Libra in the tenth house, you may go you may go to the extremes of being known for the status which you're known for, which which you're um a part of and of course what you got creatively going for yourself. I mean, you're gonna put yourself into a situation of overindulging into this area when it comes to being known for what you're known for and how you express yourself and how you relate to individuals. Now, if you got this in your 11th house, you need to create some form of equilibrium and balance. A new way of forming equilibrium and balance when it comes to long-term goals with a p person, place, a thing, or association during the sun, feel me? Try not to put too much of all your eggs on the basket, feel me? Hear everybody out, feel me? Make sure y'all weigh, weigh the scales when it comes to your options and what y'all basically have to um, work on and your projects. And everything will basically get the ball rolling. And, of course, if you, last but not least, if you have... Libra in the 12th house. This is coming up with a new way to overindulge and to relate towards a dream and imagination and a fair. And how you could cohoot yourself and coerce yourself when it comes to basically drama, romance, dreams, creativity, talents, behind the scenes, secret enemies, all kind of spectrums that you could basically be dealing with in this spectrum right here. So be aware of that perspective. And of course, that's how it's going to play out. But make, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to manifest, make sure you create balance between your dreams. But also use a little bit of that sixth house to bring practicality, to bring consistency with it. For me, because you can dream and imagine all day, but you still got to have to use a little bit of earth to basically get that thing moving. And of course, if your body ain't moving, then what is truly moving? I mean, everything else will be moving, but if you need your body to basically keep things moving and flowing, and that's how that's